Meanwhile, in Division Two, Defiance trying to make history today. The Bulldogs are seeking their first ever state title in boys basketball, and standing in the way is Cleveland Central Catholic. Spotlight is on senior Katwan Singleton in front of a great Bulldog crowd on hand at the Schottenstein Center. First quarter, Antoine Willard gets the fireworks started early. Big slam to open up the scoring, but Defiance answers right back. Singleton finds his brother, Cameron, and he lays it in. Defiance is on the board. Central Catholic leads 9-4 after one. To the second quarter, Katwan slices his way inside, gets two through contact, 10-7, Ironmen lead. On the other end, Willard from downtown, game high 24 for the senior. But the blue and white respond. Singleton drains a three of his own. Defiance down 19-12 at the half. To the third quarter, Shea Smitty leading the comeback. Three of his eight points, and the Bulldogs are within two. Smitty tries another triple, misses that one, but Singleton with the putback, and we are tied at 29. Still in the third, Central Catholic did want to give up the lead just yet. alley -oop to Montel McCray. Ironmen are back in front to the fourth quarter. Schmitty from the wing has his shot blocked. Central Catholic going the other way. Willard throws it down with two hands. But Cameron Singleton helping the Bulldogs keep pace. He drives and scores 33 31, Defiance trails. Central Catholic back to attacking the hoop. Turvell Beck with the monster dunk to make it 35-31. Final minute now. Defiance down by four. It's Singleton underneath. Team high, 18 points for Katwan. 37-35, Ironmen still lead. It's Lillard on the other end now. Another emphatic slam, but he hangs on the rim, called for a technical foul. And after Wes Detter makes two free throws, the Bulldogs trail 39-37, and they have the ball. 10 seconds left. Katwan to Cameron. Basket ties the game at 39, and we're going to overtime. In OT, Detter to Cam Singleton. 14 points, eight rebounds for Cam. Defiance leads by two. But Beck answers right back on the other end, backing down the Singleton brothers. Game is tied at 41. Next to Fiennes possession, Detter from straightaway. The three is good. Bulldogs lead, and they wouldn't give it up. Defiance wins their first ever boys basketball state title in school history. 49-45, the final score, and they came from behind to do it. What a game, and the Bulldogs are bringing the gold trophy back to Defiance. Well, it feels great, and it feels great for our community. It feels great for our kids. It uh, feels great for a lot of people who have got this program back to where it is. And uh, it's just unbelievable. I don't, I don't know. I'm going to have to pinch myself because I, I just can't imagine it right now. But I'm really, really happy for our kids. Uh, it feels great. Uh, we definitely put the time in uh, through the offseason and everything. So it's a great feeling to, uh, knowing these uh, seniors and uh, everybody else getting this. It's a great feeling. I mean, to do it with my brother and everyone on this team, we've all worked hard from shot from day one, practice one, it's, it's incredible. I can't even explain it. Uh, offensively, we're challenged sometimes, but, but we find a way to make plays when it counts. And I think that's a sign of a great basketball team. And, and this is a great basketball team right now. We weren't, as coach said, we weren't doing very well offensively. And uh, he kept telling me I need to get my feet set. And I knew once I was open, I was going to take that shot. And I didn't hesitate that late in the game. That's one thing we've been really good at is uh, keeping our composure when things aren't going our way. And then we find, we make plays and find ways to get it done. So that's what we did today and, and it continued to what we have done through the season and it was great. Defiance basketball meant a lot to us back then and when I came back and took the job here, uh, you know, I, I wanted to work extremely hard and get us back to that particular point. And we've come close, um, but these guys got us over the hump and it just absolutely feels great. Congratulations to the Bulldogs on a historic season. That's going to do it for this sports report update. I'm Matt Finkel in Columbus.